Neela Miller is a student in our studio, and um, Neela and I have been involved in a project that we've been working on all year to um, cobble together some important pieces that she's crafted, arranged. Some pieces she's done arrangements of, and others are completely original compositions, which I'm going to feature today. I think they are technically, we would call this a world premiere. Is that right? Call it whatever I like. Okay. Well, we were actually, we were just in the hall yesterday for about three hours nonstop for a second round of recording the pieces. Neela is producing a CD of her music um, and quite worthy of, of being heard. So, um, and this for me, I have to say, um, has been a case where the teacher becomes the student. For me, it's been a, um, a humbling, remarkable journey to enter this music. Um, and what a privilege to have the composer who um, should have been the student. <laughs> but it turned out that most of our time spent together was me at the piano with Neela being the teacher. And um, so it was, a, I think, a really um, rewarding and um, meaningful collaboration for me, and especially yesterday. Um, you know, wouldn't it be neat to have Chopin show up on the stage and say, um, not quite, it goes this way. You know, I mean, it's kind of a neat, special opportunity to have a composer with um, enormous ears, um, even making some changes and I think uh, in her own way, you know, sort of humbly sort of deferring to my take on things. You know, I'd almost, in a kind of um, impatient way, say, well, that's what it says in the score. So I'm just reading off the page. And she'd say, well, OK. But she's the composer, so she wants it to go a certain way. So I'm going to do my best. This is still fresh for me and um, maybe even for you, OK? The second piece from uh, Summer Sweet, um, I don't know, I think I have a tendency to see the, the seriousness in music a little too much. So Neela, all day yesterday, would come up and say, it's children at play in a playground. She must have told me a dozen times. So I hopefully I'll, you know, capture that essence. 